Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Blaze, aka Ace Blazer. I've been getting a lot of uh, comments about how to install EB, so I figured I'd just make this small tutorial so that uh, I can just refer to this video from now on. Okay, I'm just going to install EB first, and to do that, of course, go to your programs and features and your control panel and remove all your EB stuff. So I've got 1.2, remove that first. Keep in mind that, uh, EB is mod foldered, so you can play vanilla and EB different uh, at the same time. Unlike a lot of other games, I think. Um, I haven't played Rome Total Realism. I think it's mod foldered. Someone told me it was, but when I played Rome Total Realism 6, it was a total conversion, so you couldn't just. Uh, you had to. Uh, it's a. You know, you can't play vanilla. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here and uh, come back. Okay, so that's finished. EB is removed. Now I'm just going to get rid of all this other stuff. The trivial script and the documentation. Yeah. Okay, interesting. I'm going to remove all my shortcuts and I'll show you how I get these shortcuts later. I'll also show you a bit on how to use uh, sh EB with Steam. Alright guys, so these are all my mods for Rome Portal War I have. Here's Extended Greek mod. Uh, I have never played this, but it's here. The Rome Total Realism and Fate of Empires. Uh, that's a patch. This is Diodachi Total War. It's an okay mod. Okay, this is e the EB mod, and these are all the fixes and mods that I've put in. You need, I think it's pretty, uh, you probably need to have these fixes. I'll show you how you get those later. And these are my personal mods I've put in. So, to get these files, it's quite easy. Just go to your local EB, uh, your rubber worm install. That's what you want. I'm also gonna search for Europa Barbaro. Um, uh, let's see, fixes. That'll work. Let's see. Here it is. 1.2 fixes you should try before posting. So make sure you install all those fixes. And here we go. Europa Barbaro full install mod. I'm gonna also also show you guys the FAQ because a lot of people seem to not know about this. It'll show you everything you really need to know. Come on, you. Alright, see? This is a lot of stuff. If you ever have questions, look at this first. Here's a bug thing. Gameplay. This will show you the reforms. Okay? Okay. Alright, full install. First thing you want to do is download the 1.1 full install. I'll just go to file front. And then, yeah, download. That's quite easy. Pretty straightforward. Go back, and that will give me this file. Go back, and now I want to download the patch, so I just go to File Front again. Download, and the same thing again. You'll download it to some place, and it'll be here. All right, let's get to work on installing them. Also, I'll, I'm going to install the fixes right now as well. I mean, download the fixes. So these are the permanent fixtures. There's three of them. This one was for several missing sprites. Uh, if you've noticed, with 1.2, some of your sprites might be missing, so you might want to download that. And then a bunch of other fixes. So what you're going to do is press on this, EBFTP. This will go to their FTP folder. And this will download sprites 12, which is this one. Okay, and then do the same for all the others. FTP, FTP. This will give me EB, uh, EDB and script fixes 12 underscore 2. Uh, Force Diplomacy and this thing, those are mods. You don't have to put them in, but I put them in. Okay, so. No, what was I doing? Alright, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, so the first thing you gotta do is install this one. Run. Okay, so finally. <clears throat> It showed up. It takes quite a while. Everything about EB is slow, but the end result is definitely worth it. Okay. 1.1. Set up. I accept this license agreement. Make sure it's patched to 1.5. Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you something else actually quickly. Europa Barbero Rum Install Guide. So if you guys ever have any other questions about installing, here's a bit, a nice big guide. Guide to install EB. Screenshots provided. So.
So this is what I use to install my EB. It's got screenshots and everything. Everything you need, really. Um, I do not follow their um, their advice of using a clean RTW 1.5 build, mostly because I'm lazy, but um, <clears throat> probably a good idea if you do. If you have any problems in EB and uh, uh, you uh, you didn't install a new RTW, this might be why. Could be some traces of RTW that are lost, I mean are are still there bugging you out. And maybe you've got some res residue from uh, another mod that's uh, screwing up EB. I don't know. But for me it's okay because I don't, I have a... Um, the only mod I've got is EB. Right. Next. Okay, we're gonna go to our Rome Total War folder. And for me, I don't know about you guys, but for me, this is R Program Files Activision, which is the original publisher, Rome Total War. And there you go. For you guys, it might be something like, if you're Steam, you might want to go to uh, User, App Data, Roaming, the Creative Assembly, then Rome Total War. And then, uh, yeah, something like that. And other people might be Sega in the Program Files. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> For me, I'm doing this because that's how my original Rome Total War is uh, installed, but uh, they don't recommend that you do it in the program files. You can do it differently, but um, I do it here. It's a little easier to modify your game if you don't do it in program files, though. This is how I do it, though. Okay, I'm going to add one clause because I don't really care about looking at those those things. I'm sure that the team, if they see this, they'll be like, oh, you're, uh, you're, you're, you're some guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come back when it's fully installed, guys. Okay, guys, we're back. I was just doing some comment stuff on the YouTube page. All right, so we finished with the 1.1. Now they want to install something else. Oh, the trivial script. The trivial script allows you to do uh, get the EB single player and EB multiplayer icons. You definitely need this because single player, you don't get uh, cohorts reformata and that stuff. In the single player, it's only f in the, no, sorry, in the custom battles. Uh, that's only for multiplayer. In single player, they can't do that because it has something to do with the reforms and stuff. So you can't get reformed troops in your single player for custom battle. But you definitely need to use single player for the campaign, and multiplayer is for custom battles. So let's install this. Accept. Mm, I'm gonna install it in the Rome Total War folder. Actually, I'll install that in my EB folder. That's what I'll do. Next. <clears throat> I suppose in here. Next. Sure. Finish. And then this is the recruitment viewer. This is pretty useful because you get to see what troops can be recruited from which region. Sometimes it gets pretty complex, so you might want to do that. Uh, that, that, no. Install, finish. Okay, next. Documentation, may as well. That's pretty long. Okay, I'll come back when this is finished. Okay, that was actually rather quick. <laughs> And finish. Alright, so we've got EB installed. And all you want to... Well, should I do that now? Nah. Let's do 1.2 next. Yep, so this is the second file you downloaded. And it is the 1.2 patch, which does a lot of fixes, I think. So, yeah, accept the agreement. This is... Move this to where your RTW folder is. So for me again, Activision, Rome Total War, okay, and make sure you remove this thing, because it will create a new folder. Do not do that, just make sure that is your Rome Total War folder. Next. Yes. God, I hope I'm not killing something. Okay, so there is 1.2. Now we need to install the fixes, and I'm going to go quickly to the website to make sure that I'm doing this correctly. <clears throat> Let's see. Where was it? Oh yeah. <laughs> mm, my computer. 
local disk, program files, Activision, Realm Total War, EB. So this is where I'm going to need to be. So we need to unpack this one, the sprite one. What is this one called? Yeah, it's the sprite one, right? This one. Just make sure. Yeah, it's the sprite one. So, open this up. And it says to unpack them into the EB data folder. So here we are. Oops. And put them in here. It's going to ask you to replace them. Yes. Uh, yes, merge the folder. And yes, I do need administrator approval, which I am. Okay, so that's finished up. Next is Nomad Client Kingdoms. Okay, I'm guessing. I'm thinking it's this one. Yeah. So this one, you also need to go into the EB data folder. So I'll just put this in here. Replace. Continue. Okay, and the last one, of course, script fixes. Again, the same EB data folder. Good. S skip. No, no, not don't skip. Press yes. Remove and replace. Continue. All right. Yeah, that's all the fixes done. All right, let's play the game and see if it actually works. Um, if you want to see me put in my personal mods and stuff, I actually have a video up on this already. It's just charge sounds and celebrate sounds, which apparently were left out. I don't know if it's by accident or design. I don't know. But uh, yeah, these are these are my personal sound mods. And then of course, I'm going to put in Force Diplomacy and the Eastern Cities. It'll be for later though. Where? Oh, I didn't put in the trivial script. Oh yeah, and I forgot about Steam too. So... We are here. This is where they are. Don't want to move it. Want to create shortcut. That'll put it automatically on the desktop. Also create shortcut here. Automatically on the desktop. So here you go. Single player, multiplayer. Um. What else did I want to do? Oh yeah, it was added to Steam. So let's quickly open up Steam, and for those of you that that uh, play EB with Steam, I mean, I'll play Ro Rome Total War with Steam, that's a quick, easy fix. Just go to EB Steam. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. So this is the mod EB show error, whatever it is. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You just go to your Rome Total War, Rome Total, your library, and it'll be Rome Total War. Uh, this one is not the Steam version of Rome Total War. It's, it's a shortcut. That's why I can't use it. But I'll use this as an example. Just as, a, as an example, let's pretend this is Rome Total War right here. Okay. So I go to properties, and then you go to your. Oh, here it is. Set launch options, and I'll take this out. And we'll put this in. And if we do this, this will give you Barbaro in Steam. Okay? Hope that's pretty straightforward. Um, I don't know if you can do the trivial script with those, though. Single player, multiplayer. I have no idea. I don't happen to show that. You guys, it's probably online. You can look that, look that up. Okay. Okay, so to add the shortcuts themselves, all you need to do is add a game. Add a non-Steam game. This is how I added my Rome Total War to the this list even though it's not an official steam game for uh, my version and then let's see i'm gonna go browse and here i am i'm already in, in this folder this is where my shortcuts are i'm gonna add single player and multiplayer no i can only add one at a time so i'm gonna add single player first okay add selected programs so here it is it shows up like this you just change the stuff I'm going to change this to Europa Barbarum Single Player. For, just for kicks, I'm going to choose my icon, which is going to be the uninstall icon. <laughs> actually, I think this is incorrect. So what, it's actually a better idea is just to go Properties, 
and just uh, copy this stuff and put it in here. Now that is correct, definitely. Uh, Shart in here. Okay, so that is how you're supposed to do it. Did I not just change this? The guy's asking me about portal. Just a sec, guys. Uh, single, single player. Okay. All right. So that's pretty straightforward, and you can do that for. I guess I'll just do that for the multi multiplayer Close. ones. All right. There we go. Finally got it. Good. Good. Okay. I'm just gonna quick exit Steam. All right. So we got everything installed. Now let's just check out if it works. Okay. We're in. Uh, just keep in mind that the loading times are very, very long. Uh, for me, it's about maybe a minute, a minute and a half. For other people, it might even be five minutes. Yeah, it's going to stick around that loading screen for a long time, so make sure that you stick through to the end. Loading times are very long, but in my opinion, it is worth it. Okay, let's try the Arverni out. Um, do hard difficulty or very hard. They recommend very hard difficulty because it gives the Rebels a bit more aggressiveness. Okay, just make sure this campaign works. Alrighty. So the first thing you want to do when you start up a campaign, or any save game, or anything for that matter, matter uh, click on the town, and then click on this guy, click on this. That is the background script. Because there is this little town down at the bottom, which you cannot get to unless you transport yourself, teleport, that tracks all your movement via buildings. Alright? So make sure you always act activate that script every time you open a game up. Okay, I'm gonna quickly test out the multiplayer. This and Seleucids. Okay, so here we are, Reformata, Cohorts Reformata. You can see they're here, just to make sure. And the Seleucids should have a cataract general somewhere as part of the reforms, I think. Hmm. Because their first one is a cataract, no, is a companion general, and then the next one should be a cataract general. Doesn't look like he's here though. I can't see him, guys. Oh well. At least the Romans are there, right? That's all that matters. <laughs> it's just the Romans. The EB team would be very pissed off if they heard that though. Okay, so can go back to the main screen. So I hope you guys learned something from that uh, this video. Um, definitely try it out. It's a very awesome mod. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> See you guys later. Just a little addendum. Um, I unfortunately can't show this on the real campaign map, but uh, if you have problems with CTDs during end turn, like I've had a lot, um, go back to an earlier save game. That's the only way. Um, yeah, it's a bit annoying but you need to make sure that you always have at least two or three save games for like every few turns this way you can co go back easily to an earlier save game in case you have like a crash to des desktop prop they call it a CTD yeah just a little tip there if you have other bugs uh, definitely check out the website and you might be able to fix it alright see you guys later